Well, hey, gang. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, I am sorry about that. Uh, bad introduction there. I feel like the back of my head is pretty good, eh? Um, trying to get my microphone working, and it's still not working. So, since some of you are already watching, sorry about that. I'll go ahead and start without you. <laughs> I mean, with you, without my sound. All right. Um, so this is a very practical broadcast, has nothing to do with art technique or fancy stuff. It's for how to varnish a painting because I'm continually asked that because I sell and distribute paintings that are not varnished and I tell them it needs to be varnished and people get all scared. So this video is for all you people that are scared. Um, all right, I'll try not to wander too far off of that then. So let's point you at the painting and let's get going. Maybe if I'm real good, I will edit this painting for future stuff so we'll have all that silliness. Typical painting, one of my cityscapes, unvarnished. All right, step number one. Of course, we're talking about picture varnish. We're not talking about the old-fashioned stuff that your grandmother used to put on furniture. I'm assuming you know that. This is not furniture store, Lowe's, Home Depot varnish. No, no. This is art store varnish. If you walk into any art store and say, I need picture varnish, no, no. Now, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to say I recommend Gambar, and I recommend Gloss. Um, my apologies to those of you who like a satin finish. I like gloss because it makes the colors pop. And satin, I, I won't get into the science, but satin diminishes color, just flat, just understand that. All right, so I like popped colors. So, plus, let me point you at me just for a second. Plus, I must, I must let you know that, <laughs> that was smooth, wasn't it? Um, uh, we're getting all kinds of backlight. Here we go, you're seeing our whole dining room here. Um, I must let you know that I had recently some tragically bad experience with uh, with satin gambar satin so I don't know why and gambar if you want to send me a a rep to talk to me I'll tell you but we had a disastrous experience so that's all I'm not and maybe it's a bad bottle but anyway so I recommend gloss mostly because paintings look best in my humble opinion they look best glossy, not satin. Um, all right, back to the painting then. So once you've gone to the art store and you bought the right kind of stuff, um, hey, I think this is the smallest bottle that you can get, I think. This is plenty, plenty, plenty for your one painting. I have a bigger one because I, of course, have already scores of paintings. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to recommend is that you buy a cheap brush. And, and again, this broadcast is for non-artists. If you're an artist, you know all about brushes. You can get any kind of brush you want. But if you're a non-artist, you're never going to use this brush again. So it costs 99 cents or $1.50 or something like that. Okay? All right, then let's begin. Let me show you how I start this process. <laughs> Hello, Luis. Dog on it. Um, you know um, um, I know the sound is bad. I know the sound is bad. Um, I have done over a thousand broadcasts. I know how to do sound. But sometimes equipment, literal equipment, fails. And that's what has happened today. So I was going to try to do this broadcast. Uh, but I see the sound is, in fact, still too bad. And I'm not going to do this. Anyway, I'm about to end this broadcast and delete this video immediately.